Excuse me. I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Hey, everybody. This is our spooky, spooky, special, uh, fun time. It's Halloween. That's that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to follow up and help you out. I got nothing. Yeah. I'm sorry. See, it's going to be fun when we got uh, an alien and a robot, just yeah. like Alien. Yeah, that sounds Halloween-y. Yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be a good time. A spooktacular episode. So it's Alf v... Small wonders, like would be a, a good title for this. Small elf. Smalf. Smalf. I smelf. like smalf. Oh, okay. Smalf. Smalf. It is. <laughs> All happy. Right. Happy smalf. Halloween. Smalfween. The Smalfween spooktacular. I like it. All right. <laughs> She's a small wonder. Welcome to Dad Fights. Ever wonder what would happen when you put two TV dads up against each other in the ring? Find out with your hosts, Adam and Jeremy. I wish to create a dad. Who's ready for fatherly advice or a heavy blow to a small dad? All right, so these guys aren't dads. Alf could be a dad, right? Oh, he's probably he's, he's probably hitting them space booties. Yeah, just like Kirk. Yep, just like Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, little Vicky, I guess she could be a dad, just like Data. Like he could, she could go to the tool shed and build a child. I bet she builds a child later on. I don't know how that series ends. Do you think? I don't have no. She builds a child, and then they just. Start their own. Oh. Or it turns life. into Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arnold's going to ask about our dads who aren't really dads, but we'll answer the question. We'll answer it anyways. Go ahead, Arnold. You tell me, who is your daddy and what does he do? All right, I'll, I'll go first because alphabetically. Yeah. That is uh, the cat walking around raising a ruckus. Oh, my. Dude, is Logan trapped? <laughs> do we need to <laughs> save him? <laughs> Yeah, Adam, I just put, key, <laughs> yeah. put a bunch of bombs in. There you go. And a shelf that may or may not come down. Yeah. Go ahead and climb away, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> um, my guy. My guy. Is Elf. My guy. My guy. Talk about my guy. Elf. Also known as Gordon uh, Shumleg. Or Shumley. Shumleg. That's the actor's name, or is that his? That's his that's name. That's his street name. Yeah. That's the street name. That's no, that's his, that's his birth name. His street name is Alf. That's what he goes by when he rips the mics. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> or his real name is yeah. Gordon Shumleg. That's his name. Not the guy in the suit, but Not the guy Alf. In the, suit. Okay. the Alf. Yeah. So what does Alf stand for? It's like something life force or something. Like... Yeah, something life alien life form. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that checks out. But uh, he has terrible handwriting, and I can't read my notes because I wrote oh, these at like two in the morning. Oh, I thought you meant Alf. Alf has. <laughs> Well, he, yeah, he wrote these notes. Yeah. I didn't. He came over. He came over and he said... He ate a cat. He ate a cat and then ate one of the stray cats outside. Yeah. Stray, he, stray cats? You mean uh, <laughs> Brian Setzer? Every Dude, every time I just hear that rockabilly bass. Anyways, he's a freeloading alien living with a family called the, the Tanner family. Not to be confused with Danny and his... You know, Are, are they related? Probably. Is that your fun facts? No, my uh. fun my fun fact. I can, I'm just gonna throw that in. Oh, by the way, <laughs> but um, yeah, he lives with them. Uh, he does have a girlfriend. Her name is Rhonda. I don't know if you remember the whole "Help Me, Rhonda" that he would do a lot. She's an alien. She is an alien. Okay. I don't know if they show her or not. I'm gonna draw a picture and you tell me if this is that this is right. <laughs> and you point where she does. <laughs> yeah. So Alf has a like a dick nose. Yes, he does. So would her. Face be like lab- <laughs> labia nose or something. Hey, you ever see the Guar movie Skullhead face? <laughs> yeah. You know the the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like that. It looks like that. Oh, if you don't know, look up Skullhead face. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but uh, he's from the planet Melmac, and they're called Melmacians. That's okay. you know, like we're Earthlings. Okay. He's a Melmacian, and um, yeah, he lives with the Tanner family, freeloading, eating their cats. They always buy a new cat every week. That's that's another fun fact, but I haven't gotten cat, to that. Cat of the week. Cat of the week. Don't get attached, kids. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, he lives with Brian, Lynn, Willie, and Kate. That's I all. love it. That's yeah, out for you. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a good one. I took some uh, a lot of notes. On all out. right. Well, I didn't know we we're gonna do this segment, so I just didn't write notes for it. So yeah, give me one second while I Wikipedia this. Do 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 do. 
do 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 Well, my guy. My guy. Gal. Robit. Robit. Cyberdyne. Skynet. Terminator. Droids. These aren't the droids you're looking for, but but my person is Vicky. V I C I. I don't know what it stands for. Uh, vehicular um, instant change. What's oh, the other eye? Uh, instant. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's that's <laughs> absolutely correct. Well, Vicky, she's a she's a robot created by her father, one Ted Lawson. He's a he's pretty much uh oh, I'm forgetting the Cyberdyne dude's name from Terminator Two. He's that guy. The shaky guy. Yeah, he's got the bomb. And he's doing the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. So he's like that. He's a <laughs> robo engineer, and he's Doctor Light. Let's just call him Doctor Doctor Light. Light. Yeah. Okay, okay. He built a, a helper robot, and I still don't know why it's a little girl. Maybe it's when she goes to take over the world. It's not gonna be as scary as a. Or it's like giant that one movie. Robot. You know which one I'm talking about. It was an anime, then it turned into a movie. It was a badass movie. Battle Angel? Alita? Oh, yeah, Alita. Yeah. yeah. I thought you meant, uh, shit, what's the other one? Astro Boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, not okay. Astro Boy. Or Speed Racer. Yeah. Oh, but Alita, they found her. Mm-hmm. He found her body. Yeah, he found her body all beat to shit. Yeah. And then he... Yep. But same thing, yeah. It's like, why, why child, robo child, but who knows? Um... The Lawsons take her in, and they try to fool everybody that she's a person, even though she talks like a robot. <laughs> like, she's just, she's not, she okay, she has a computer in her bag. She's a robot. <laughs> it's like the kids know, like the neighbor kids kind of know that she's a robot, but they try to fool everybody else. Like the mailman knows. Like Oh, mailman knows everything. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I read your shit. Yeah, I read I your shit. What's up. Yeah. You have a, you have a robot kid. A ro- that's, robot kid. That's my, that's my person, my fighter. All Vicky. right. Good old Vicky. Um, Damn, I probably forgot about Alita Battle Angel. That should have been my Family Fun Facts, but... Oh, man, you should have totally I did know, that. I know, dude, but it'll right. be all good. Well, speaking of Family Fun Facts... Family Fun Facts. do 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 Family Fun Facts. <laughs> Vicky's a robot, and she originally came to Earth with her brothers. 15, 17, <laughs> 18, 19, 20... And they came down to fight the, uh, what was the Z fighters? Yeah, yeah, Z fighters. Um, her brother Twenty just straight kills Yamcha from the from the jump. Everyone just kills Yamcha. I, from I know. The jump. <laughs> <laughs> and then she sees this creepy bald guy like making googly eyes at her, and she's like, "I can fly. I'm, I'm fucking getting out of here." She flies away to Los Angeles, and she moves in with the family. <laughs> yeah. T- Ted, the dad, tells everyone that he made her, but secretly she's a. Uh, a killing, killing android from a different planet sent to kill the Z Force. I am just a simple robot. Hold my hand. And one of these days, I'll be a bad that's, that's Vicky. That's a good that's one. My, that's, my, that's my gal. Do you like fun facts? Mine's pretty quick, too. Alf's not really an alien. It's actually, he's an ape that fucked a cat. Family fun facts. I can, I can see it. <laughs> so you're telling me. Yep. So the whole eating cat thing, that's a he. That's he's he's saying a different way about eating cats. You know, mm. you, know you know this motion I'm doing. Mm. Yeah, he's not really eating the cats. I mean, but at the end of every episode, there's just like cat parts everywhere. <laughs> yeah, because he's he's a bad man. Oh, okay, I gotcha. He gets crazy on that shit. He's like a bear. <laughs> yeah, he's like a bear. I heard bears eat you from your butthole first. <laughs> Wolves too. So does Elf. So does Elf. He goes <laughs> with straight. That, with that sweet ass dick nose. <laughs> yep. Buried in, in there. He gets all up in that ass. Uh, Family fun fact. Yeah, yeah there good you times. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to talk about some music? But I do have to say, uh, those Family Fun Facts were written at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, me too. I was already like I was watching tired. Dune, and I'm like, oh, crap, I got to write notes. Let's... Yeah, I was like about to fall asleep. I was like, oh, shit. And I get up and <laughs> do my notes. But yeah, let's talk about some music. Yeah, let's do it. Do it up. Album of the week. Album of the week. Album of the week. Um, I am going with my man Bill Laswell, and the album I'm picking is After Mathematics. Okay. Do you know that one with the DXT? 
DXT is like the guy who like invented turntables. I don't know that one. Um, I definitely recommend it. Okay. And the song I'm going with is Ghost Dub. Okay. So this one, um, usually when I'm driving Logan around, we'll, we'll listen to, like, we usually listen to Bill Laswell because he likes the deep bass. Mm. And that's a good way to start a little guy. Bill Laswell. Yeah. But uh, this one, it's it's more funk. Well, not, I want to say funky. It's more uh, hip-hop-ish with uh, DXT doing the turntables. And you got Bill Laswell doing, you know, what he does best. Nice. It's good, dude. Yeah. If, if you ever never heard it, yeah, definitely check it out. But yeah, Ghost Dub. Ghost Dub. I'll check it out. Remember Ghost Dad? Ghost <laughs> You remember, that, remember Bill when Cosby? He, yeah, you remember when he goes to the phone and like chokes the guy out? No. There's a part where he goes to the phone and chokes the guy out. Oh, that's, I, cool. that's the only thing I remember from Ghost Dad. How did he die? Ghost Dad? Yeah. He wasn't born a ghost. <laughs> Maybe he was. Maybe he had a, he he drank the wrong cup. And, yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the other movies he made, like the Leonard movies? No. He was like a he was like a space, like he's kind of like Buckaroo Banzai, but it was Bill Cosby. Wait, what? That sounds awesome. Yeah, uh, f- fudge. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I'm going to look this up right now so I don't forget. Bill Cosby, Leonard, no, not Kennard, Leonard. Wait, there's six parts? I th- yeah, there's there's like a lot. No, I think that one's just part six. Oh. Because, you know, it's trying to be funny. It's kind of like Naked Gun. Okay. It's like stupid silly. It looks ridiculous. Yeah, it's like terror bad. Uh, what album do you have for the week, sir? I guess they're like a pop rock indie band. They're called Sunset Roller Coaster. Hmm. They're kind of fun. They're from Taiwan. They're, uh, uh, let's see, what their genre is like, I guess this album, the album is, it's called Bossa Nova. Anyway, um, this album is more like indie rock. It kind of feels like Jack Johnson meets uh, Jack Harper. Meets Dave Matthews, mm. kind of like groovy, fun, kind of jazzy. It's good stuff. Their later albums are like uh, more electro pop, but this one's just good old rock music. And uh, the song I'm going to pick is No Man's Land. It kind of reminds me of a Grateful Dead track. Here's a little clip. Check it out. They're 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 good guys and I like the album cover. I'm gonna show you a picture of the album cover. It's pretty funny. Bam, found it. Looks like Bruce Lee. <laughs> like the whole like him someone in the background, it's like someone else. I think it's just like a double exposure. Same, Same guy, guy, uh it's like Bruce Lee about to turn into the Hulk. With uh yeah, because he's got the nerd glasses on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As soon as I saw that cover, I'm like, I gotta check this out. It looks silly. Huh. Bruce Lee, Bruce Banner. Look at yeah. that. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. What if Bruce Lee was the Hulk? What if Bruce Banner got all rageful and then turned into Bruce Lee Bruce like Lee. a littler guy? <laughs> <laughs> but he's faster. But green. Yeah. But green. Yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. There he is. Nope. There, he, he overheard us talking oh, about Leonard. him. Oh, Leonard. What do you, what do you want? What do you, oh, Leonard. <laughs> Mr. Jeremy's Video Game ADD. All right, so this one, since it's Halloween, I was going to do an, like a spooky album of the week, but I, I, I was going to do uh, Monster Mash because Buckethead and Bootsy did Monster okay. Mash. But I didn't think about that until like, or monsters and robots. Oh yeah, monsters. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. God damn it. Pra- was it slaughterhouse on the prairie? That's pretty good too. That's a good one. Pretty scary. Or uh, the the Halloween Pikes. That's right. That's like scary music. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my game of the week. I was gonna do Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Remember okay. that one? Yeah. <clears throat> but I was like, no, dude. There's a better game than that. Castlevania 64. I don't think I played that. You never played the no. ca- the 64. That's the one like. That's the first one they do the 3D. But is it Simon? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Nice. And uh, 
Yeah, it's just like 3D Castlevania, but 64 graphics. Okay. And I remember playing it going, this is like the best Castlevania I've ever played. Nice. It's a fun one, man. It's not like the uh, handheld Castlevanias, you know, where you have to like... Those are still side-scrolling, though. Yeah, those are still yeah. side-scrolling. And they're all like, they're kind of RPG-like. Yeah, Castlevania 64. 64 graphics. Castlevania, man. You jump yeah. around, whip, sh- whip the shit yeah. out of shit, man. You got, you got that chain whip? Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, didn't Robot Chicken do like... Yeah, they did. They did a, like a Castlevania skit where they're like, he's hitting people with the whip. And they're like, ow, <laughs> man. Like, that really hurts. Ah, uh, Castlevania. How's the music, though? And I can't remember now. It's got to be good. It's, they yeah. always have good. Yeah. It's just good old Konami yeah. Castlevania. The Castlevania on Sega has a great soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, what was that one called? Bloodlines or something? But that one's good. Yeah. And the one that you got, remember the, what was it, the PlayStation 2 one? Yeah. That's a good one, That's too. That's a good one, yeah. I feel like you can't miss with that. It's like the greatest IP, mm-hmm. except for Mega Man. And th- oh, have you played the later Castlevanias? No. Like the like newest for ones? Switch or Wii? Uh, no, they came out on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. There's two of them. There's like okay. Castlevania, Lord's Shadows or something. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. I don't. Th- I, th- I don't think you're Simon though. I think you're you're Dracula. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I think I can't remember, but they're yeah, they're good. Okay. Castlevania, man, you just can't go wrong with Castlevania. Yeah. You really yeah. can't. But yeah, that's that's yeah. That's, that's the game. That's the game. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Yeah. A little bit whipping the shit out of shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen to uh, uh, house techno. House techno. Yeah. Do do do. Because he's yeah, uh, you know, he's into that. He's into that shit, man. Because he's a vampire. Yeah, he's a vampire. He has a whip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this fight going. Let's do it. Hey Adam, so I've been listening to this like podcast lately and I think you would dig it, dude. It's called Why Do We Say That? And basically what they do is they break down uh the basically everyday phrases that we would use. Okay. So like hell or high water. I like it. That's a good one. They just kinda go in and why that became a phrase. Like so, they do like historical relevance, or yeah, pretty much, and oh. they just they kind of just break it down, you know, from the foundation of it to how we use it now. Huh. But are they funny? I like my shows to be funny. Of course, man. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I'll check f- it out. Yeah, I'm a funny guy. I listen to funny stuff. Where can I listen to this? Pretty much any podcatcher you can do. Any podcast anywhere. Like, like iTunes. Yep. What What about Spotify? Are they yep. like with Joe Rogan? Yep. On Spotify. Before oh. you even ask another one. Yep. Oh, you yeah. can read my mind. Yeah, and then, um, you know, on the episode, like every episode, should I say, they play a cool, like, word game. Um, They call it uh, Word or Not a Word. I like it. And it, it's pretty it's pretty amusing because, you know, some words you're like, hey, oh, no, not a word, huh? Well, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel about everything. I'll check it out. <laughs> well, don't do that. Listen to this, and now you have some uh, cool, uh, fun facts you can tell your friends once you find out. You know, oh, listening. gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> cool. There you go. I'll check it out. Yeah, man. It's good. What do, why, if what, you could. <laughs> why do we say that? Why do we say that? And it's it's uh, father and son, Scott and Liam. And yeah, they break it down, man. It's good stuff. Every Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah, man. Um, I'm thinking about doing a podcast. Oh, yeah? Where it's uh, TV dads who fight each other. Oh. Yeah. And um, how would I, how, how, how would I do that? Because I don't know. What's, what's the easiest way? To do that type of podcast. That's a solid idea. So I'd just say you need some recording equipment. Okay, check. And uh and Buzzsprout because Oh, what what's what what's that? Well Buzzsprout's a company that you can upload your audio to and they will distribute it for you to all the podcatchers. All of them? All of them. They give you analytics and all that good stuff. You can see how it's doing. They even can help you out with with sponsorship opportunities and and it's just a it's just a good company to to use to put out your podcast. That's what I suggest. All right. Is there any benefit for going through this Buzzsprout? Besides what I've already said? Yeah. Uh, they'll give you a twenty dollars Amazon gift card, which you can use for I don't know whatever, whatever you'd like that Amazon sells. Um, I would probably purchase, um, you know those Velcro strips that you like you put one on the wall and then you like put something else with Velcro on it yeah. and you stick it on it. Like my old beanie rack I used yeah, to have. Yeah, it's like that 3M special or yeah, something. Yeah, you got it, man. Get those. Get those. You get something nice for yourself, like a... Like a, a hat? Sh- like a hat, yeah. yeah. All right. That says, a bolo hat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, That says what? He'll still have print on it. Oh, I was going to say, it says Rolo Tony Brown. T- you said Rolo hat, right? <laughs> bolo, bolo hat? <laughs> Was it Rolo hat? I don't know. 
I was just thinking of a, like a baseball Bo- cap. Boiler hat. Boiler that's hat. what I was going at. Yeah, I was looking. That's the word. Is I was it like looking. a newsies hat. Yeah, like a newsies okay. hat. Okay, like you sell newspapers. Yeah, extra, <laughs> extra, extra. extra. <laughs> Bring it I don't know. If they still make like pornographic magazines, but you could sell old used copies of jugs. <laughs> <laughs> extra, 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 extra. <laughs> These are extra sticky. <laughs> I ripped out the sticky pages for you. Oh, good times. All right. Yeah. Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout. Do yeah. it. Do it to it. So, yeah, I'm going to call this uh, Dad Fights. So, you should check it out. Oh, that sounds like it's infringing on other people's IP, but uh, <laughs> it's all good. Copyright. Copyright. Pa- patent pending. Patent pending. Patent pending. Let's get these butt plugs down. Let's all right. Let's get to this fight, man. I'm back. Dad Fights. Oh, here we go. I already hey. did it. Look, I already did it. Thanks, Buzzsprout. <laughs> Before we get started, let's go ahead and have the lovely Jamie explain the rules of dad fights if you're not aware of the rules. Go ahead, my dear. Each dad has 23 hit points. Using a polyhedral eight-sided die most commonly used for tabletop RPGs, each host will call an attack and roll the die. Number rolled determines damage. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. And? Um, do you want to do... Oh, yeah. Let's play some rock. All right. I know I'm going to do this every time. Wind, Robocop, Spock. So, wind beats Spock. Wind beats Spock. Because wind's a change. Spock beats Robocop. And then Robocop beats wind. Yep. Okay. And then the Spock, Robo... No, wind, and then Robocop. Yep. Robocop's gun, wind's a fist with the ring, and Spock is Spock. Yeah. If you don't know, Spock. Yeah. Why are you even listen to this? Yeah, get out of get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. All right. So one, two, three on the one. <laughs> one, two, th- on three. Yeah. One, so, two. Gotcha. All right. Okay. One, two, two three. Ye- robot beats wind. Yep. Robot beats wind. Cause I'm Robocop. Yeah. All right. Um, Shot wind right in the dick. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Through a lady's dress. That's right. He did do that. Yep. Wow. Look at that. I don't know, when I first saw that, I was like, I didn't think, because I was a little kid, I was yeah. like, you shot that lady, and the guy's like, oh, my dick. I was like, you shot <laughs> the guy in the dick. <laughs> what the? This movie is awesome, man. Uh, Robocop, check it out. Robocop. Yeah. I like how we always throw it in. Okay, Um. so Robocop, I mean, Alf, <laughs> he's coming out. <laughs> he's coming out. He wants the world to know. And the Bell Max, too. He's all up in that ass. Um... I know I wrote stuff out. Okay, yeah. He's he's coming out. He's walking out like Ultimate Warrior. I know we always like to do the yeah. Ultimate Warrior. So he's totally like a little elf with Ultimate Warrior get up. And he's like running out. And he's coming out to the song Most Eisley by the Shapeshifters. Yeah. Oh, a nine and a half yeah. minute rant by Circus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the vampire hunter, robot imposter, oxymoron, just another abstract definition of a true human being. You being the living contradiction of a superficial Christian. And we're going to sit here and listen to the whole nine and a half minute rant. Yep. I dig it. <laughs> All right. Well, Vicky's getting ready to walk up to the ring and she's putting on what well, looks like like our favorite character, Robocop. She's got the uh, silver armor over her, what is it, like a polka dot dress? <laughs> <laughs> the sweet helmet. And she's stomping on up to uh, to the, the Robocop theme song from the movie. And now she's doing finger guns at us, and uh, she's ready to rock and roll. Damn, I wish I knew. I used to know that song on the guitar. It's really it's easy, not though. Hard. Yeah. It's not yeah. There's a metal cover of that. There has to be. I'll, I'll be. search YouTube for it. There's got to be. All right, well, uh, here we go. So we got Alf, and uh, he's going with, right off the bat, to help me, Rhonda, roundhouse kick. Oh, wait, wait. We have the board. Okay, so now... I move to what you take off of me, right? Yes. Okay, so... So you're so if Lady I right now, Boba you're Fett. Move your guy. And I'm a battle droid. Yep. What's her name? Starbuck. <laughs> That's not her name in the show, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. That's not her <laughs> name in the show. <laughs> Wrong show. Um, what the fuck is her name? Sabine. Is it Sabine? I just call her Lady Fett. Lady Fett. But I think it's Sabine. Well, no, it's Sabine. Sabine's, Sabine's that thing that... It looks like a, it looks like a, it looks like a bean bag, but it's got like a, <laughs> a little, a little t- it vibrates. Are you talking about a triple? 
<laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> you know the Tribbles? Yeah, you know Tribbles. Why am I even asking you? Yeah, what Tribbles it... are from Star Trek. Yeah. No, I'm talking about it looks like a pummel horse, but it vibrates. I'm gonna Google it. It's called Sabine, right? I don't know. I looked. I tried to put look up Sabine, and anything, nothing is coming up for me. What the fuck is that chick's name? I totally don't remember now. I'm mean, gonna wait past the ep- half the episode. Uh, this thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was called something totally different. It says it's called a. Oh, Sabine S- with a Y. With a Y. Sibian. Sibian, yeah. Well, that's her name now, Sibian. Yeah, yeah. Sibian and uh, old, 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 old Rusty Brown. Rusty, let's Rust, call him Rusty. <laughs> rusty Brown. And we'll take a picture of these guys so you know what we're talking about. All right, so well, I'm about to roll my damage for my Help Me Ronda roundhouse kick, and you're going to move your dude. Who, yes. Who can't stand. Okay. He can't stand, so I'm going to slip him out for uh, Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange taking it in with seven hit points. Hey, that's pretty good, so... The help me Ronda attack. Damn, this might be a quick quick match right. here. Ralph, Ralph is kicking this little girl's ass already. All right, Vicky Robocop for Vicky Cop. Robo Icky. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Or uh, Ricky! Ricky, no! <laughs> What's uh, La Bamba? Was that, was that kid's name was Ricky, right? Richie. Richie. Richie! Richie. <laughs> Ricky was uh, Boys in the Hood. Yeah, but I thought La Bamba. Oh, it's Richie. You Bell. should try and sample both of those at the exact and same then, time. And then layer it. <laughs> yes. All right. You got it. With uh, that buckethead thing from Inbred Mountain. <laughs> That's asking a lot, but uh, I got tomorrow off, so I'll do <laughs> I it too. Yeah. <laughs> Richie! Right, well, um, Vicky, she's doing this one. She learned from uh, her Robo Dad, RoboCop, and she's doing the "Dead or Alive, You're Coming with Me" drop kick. She just jumps in the air using that jetpack, and then she's gonna deliver a sweet kick to Alf. It's a little Alf, right in the dick nose. Here we go. Let's see what kind of damage he does. Ooh, five. Well, that's a five. We're up to a good start here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's a neck and neck battle right here. All right, so Alf. He's uh trying to take down this little robot girl with the Tanner tap out. And it doesn't work. Gets a one. That's not great. She Danny did. Tanner. You can't tap out a robot. Yeah. But don't take my word for it. Yeah. In the episode. <laughs> yeah, t- t- this is over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Vicky's running and cowering. I'm like, what? What are you afraid of? She's like, it's Uncle Polly. And she's saying, you stay the fuck away from me, Uncle Paul, and then she's delivering a sweet kick <laughs> to Alf. For those who don't know, Uncle Paul is a famous technosexual from uh, Rocky IV. Did you see they put out a three-hour version of Rocky IV? What? Yeah. How can you make that movie three hours? I don't know. Stallone wanted to do it, and then I heard that they're trying to cut out all the scenes with the robot. How dare they? I don't know. That's just what Google maybe, said. Maybe they came across some uh, unseen robot footage. With Polly. Who was someone had a joke about it where they were saying Do you think Rocky's kid doesn't like him because the robot raised him? And that's why he's all angry in Rocky and Five. Rocky Five? Yeah. Maybe. He's like, You left me alone when you went to Russia and I just stay here and watch <laughs> over Ro- Polly's sex robot. Mom was a mess, she was doing quaaludes and alcohol. Robot was all sticky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rocky Lore. Oh wait, you rolled a seven, right? Did I just roll a seven? Yeah, you just rolled a seven. Aw, oh, shit. There we go. You did the poly... Poly amorous... And then we, I haven't done Poly that. kick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alf. Oh, I know. Yeah, because yeah, I just did the Tanner tap out for a one, and then you did your poly kick. So it is your go. Okay, it's my go. So Alf, we all knew this one was coming. You know what? Actually, since... Yeah, I'll do it. We're going to do the uh, Alf arm bar. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> this is the a point. Po- Man, two. Damn. Two. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. All right, so for all the number nerds, we got Team Alf with 13 HP. We got Team Small Wonders with 11. No, you had other way around. Ah, oh, shit. So it's Team Alf. Small Wonders with 13. Yep. And then Alf with, Alf with 11. 11. Pretty close. It's pretty neck close. and neck. It's all you, man. What you Almost got? out of attacks here. All right, well, Vicky, she's doing a, a nice attack she learned from her dad. 
It's a small wonder spin and heel kick. Get him, Vicky. Ooh, three. Nice. Come on, Al. All right. This one, I'm, I'm hoping for some mass damage. This is a personal favorite attack of mine. He's going with, well, his version is the Melmac 360 elbow attack. Melmac. Melmac attack. Uh, damage of five. Nice. Take that, you robot girl. Oh, we got a tie match. Oh, shit. All right, for those number munchers, uh, anyone's game, tied at eight, so. Damn. Interesting. Do you have any more attacks? I do. Right. Vicky might be able to finish it here if I can roll a perfect aid. Let's see what happens. All right, Vicky. She's going to do the uh, little robo devil in a red dress <laughs> right hook. <laughs> Try to finish it off with a perfect roll. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Perfect roll, dude. Are you fucking with me? No, I'm not fucking with you at all. Oh, shit. This match is over, Vicky. Take that, Al. Taking it, wow. taking it home. Damn, that was, that was a good one. That was a good one, man. I like how I called that. I think I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. And I'm gonna yeah, call you it like Babe Ruth circle, that okay? shit. I'm like, this is going to get a million dollars. They're like, just get out of here. Are you drunk? <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> Did you just piss yourself? So it's only 11.30 in the afternoon. What the fuck? Oh my God, I started our first call. I, I went to the bar first call. <laughs> I pre-gamed before yeah. I came here to buy more beer at the convenience store. So there's a bar on Cave Creek. It's like a biker bar called First Call. And their thing on their door says, open from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. I'm like, that's insane. I didn't, I didn't think that was a I didn't real, know, I didn't know they could that. serve alcohol at 6 a.m. Yeah. Apparently you can. I Those feel bikers so. must listen to that. No effects. <laughs> Why would they listen to No Effects? Because No Effects is that song, First Call. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, good call. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. I didn't even get to use my finisher. I'm going to tell you anyways. It all was, right, was going to be all the aliens, like all of them. And they're going to come in. They're all going to get together and shoot a big old beam. Like Mork from Mork? Yeah. Like, I was going to start saying, name aliens, because they're all coming. On Vicky. <laughs> oh, it's a... What Alien is... beam on all over her. Robot. She's a child. Oh, uh, god damn. Uh, no, she's a robot. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, see, it's, so what, they can, it's okay, can, I can I can say that. And they're aliens, so yeah, yeah, they're gonna, what do they call it? A bukaki? <laughs> yeah. A bukaki? A robot. Oh, a robot. Yeah, she's a robot. She might, I don't know, we're not gonna go there. Yeah, I'm not. Let's talk about next week. We got a good one next week. It's the uh, last episode before the Kumite. Yep, and it's some heavy hitters, man. I got, Um, I'm gonna tell you his name is Sam Hanna from NCIS Los Angeles. I feel like Robin calls him, like, something special. Uh, oh, yeah, he does. Like, Chief or Buddy or Pal or I Love You or something. I forget. Yeah. Batman? He calls him Batman. Ba- calls him Batman, yeah. He's <laughs> like, you were Robin from that terrible <laughs> Batman movie. So, <laughs> that's what I actually, that's part of my thing. <laughs> when I, it yeah. Nice? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what I have. Who uh, who you got, man? I got the legend, TJ Hooker. He's going to slide all over cop cars, hit on Farrah Fawcett, and uh, talk a bunch of smack and cry when his partner gets killed. Spoiler alert. That, moves, that TV just made out since the 80s. Fuck you. Wait, what? Now I can't watch it. <laughs> Wait, his partner dies in the first episode? The pilot? <laughs> what the hell? Good times. Yeah, then you can see uh, he yells like, God! And then like it's like rage tears and boogers. It's a mess. Then he goes to space. Then he, yeah, he goes to space. Twice, yeah. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> one, one in Star Trek, and then. Yeah. Oh yeah, like last week. Yeah, yeah. He went on the penis rocket. Yeah, dick rocket. Something about <laughs> space pussy. <laughs> Woo! To the to the stars. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's a good one. Well, good times. Um, well, it is Halloween, or it's gonna be Halloween in like five days. 26th thing comes 20, out on 26th. No, it comes out. This comes out 28th? 20, I don't know, three yeah, days. 28th. Yeah. 28th. So three three days. days away. And um, we haven't done like a gender swap movie in a while. Oh, no. no. So I was thinking Halloween. Why not? The original Halloween. So like Jamie Lee Curtis will be a dude? Yeah, James Curtis. James Curtis. <laughs> um, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle Myers. <laughs> Michelle Myers. <laughs> so. So, <laughs> Michelle Myers is like a big old huge, like, just big old stocky chick or something? I, mean, I didn't think that far into it. I and will they still be wearing the William Shatner mask? It has to be the, the Shat, Shatner mask. Okay. With a wig. Okay, but all right. still a white-faced Shatner mask with a wig. Can it be like the funny, like, 1960s wig where, like, 
It's like a bell. They look yeah, like, it yeah, basically yeah. looks like a penis head. It's like uh, what's her name? Throws her hat in the air in the show. The beginning. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, Good that call. haircut. Yeah. 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 Let's go with yeah. that. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Let's say Mary Tyler Moore is Michelle. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Myers. Michelle right. Myers. And I guess uh, her brother would be Ed Asner. Yeah. All right. Well, no, didn't she just work with Ed Asner in that? They... Okay, so Dick Van Dyke is James Curtis. All right. So it's Dick, basically Dick Van Dyke and <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore beating the shit out Well, Mary Tyler Moore killing people, and Dick yeah. Van Dyke's like, what? Tripping over Ottomans and shit. <laughs> yeah, and then she's straight, oh, Ed Asner's actually dead. He went up. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so He's sorry. the first to go. No oh, man, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good <laughs> one. Set in the '60s, we'll get uh, look-alike actors. I feel like that little girl from uh, Queen's Gambit. Cause, I mean, just, just throw her in there. She can be Michael Myers, and young Ed Asner will be Charlie Day. Oh, there you go. And, All right. Uh, young Dick Van Dyke. Who's a Dick Van Dyke looking fella? Dick Van Dyke. Looking. Paul. Paul Rudd. Oh, perfect. All right. That's, that's good. That's yeah, a cast. Dude. Yeah. Good job. There you go. That was really good. Yeah. Halloween rebooted again, because I feel like they just rebooted it again. <laughs> well, the one that just came out is... uh The sequel to the Jamie Lee Curtis one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, sequel to the direct sequel. So it's a third and an un... Yeah, because apparel... Halloween 2 had Jamie Lee Curtis in it, right? Halloween yeah, 1 and 2 had Jamie yeah, Lee Curtis. Uh, Halloween 2 was the uh, whole mental asylum. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then the Halloween... 3, that's when they just... 3 was like a gardener or something. And then 4 was... um that Crazy ch- person. Crazy with, young dude. With the little girl that was in like every 90s show. Oh, Jody Sweden? No. <laughs> no, the other one. Uh, I forget. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And then... um Shit. Oh, and then Rob Zombie directed. He did. So he did. He did two of them. He did a couple of them, but the one that came out two years ago was Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be like a direct sequel, technically three, to that one. And the one that came out last week is the sequel to the sequel sequel. I um yeah I'm picking. Do you up. follow? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> like I should I, I should really get a graph and <laughs> <laughs> yeah like this is <laughs> be like Doc explaining the whole thing. Yeah, in Back I feel to like Future it'd be too. easier to explain time travel, <laughs> but who knows. Oh, I got a. There's a podcast you should check out. It's uh. It's about time travel. It is. It's about philosophy and time travel. Ooh. So it talks about all the conundrums and all the fuck ups. Yeah. It's really fucking good. Does it bring up the Mandela effects at all? It doesn't, because I guess the guy that wrote the book was teaching this class in the '70s. So it's all about his writings. Oh, okay. And all about he's the guy that came up with the grandpa paradox. Like, if you go back and kill your grandpa, does that mean you disappear? And he's the guy that's like, no, you go back and kill your grandpa, like. You're still here. He's, he draws like three parallel timelines and tries to explain it that way. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Really? Yeah. Dude, speaking of doing that, um, Chuck, he made a book, Rant. Oh, yeah. And he, and he does that theory, but it's morbid. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. So they use this guy's like interviews from the 70s, and then they have modern philosophers. It's a philosophy podcast, but okay, okay. it's like a six-part series. So they kind of just jump on it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. The yeah, first episode that. like talks about Back to the Future, other time travel movies, modern time travel movies, mm-hmm. and why the paradoxes don't make sense. But yeah, yeah, who knows? There's, there's a lot they that, talk yeah. about Marvel, and, like they just they don't understand time travel. But <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's this movie. Okay, you know me, I love my time travel yeah. movies. Uh, there's one called The Time Traveler's Wife. Yeah, it's like yeah. A, it's like a romantic yeah. movie. And when it came out, like when I saw previews for it, I just in my I I, well, I probably said it out loud. I just went, God damn it. <laughs> Because you know I'm going to watch it. It's about yeah. time travel. Yeah. I have to. It wasn't that bad a movie. I mean, it was a romantic movie about time travel. Oh, he, he, like, he like goes back in time. Yeah, he goes back <laughs> he, in he, time. He travels and, like, <laughs> it was like, a there's a chick, like, it's that one chick from The Notebook, I think, was in it. I don't know. It was, like, one of those late night movies, and I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, this, I forgot this was the thing, and I have to watch it. Wait, they made another time travel wife? Because I feel like Time Traveler's Wife came out in, like, the uh, early 90s. No, no, yeah, they made it, like, one in, like, 2000s. Dude. Oh, shit, what the fuck? It was, like, 2010. Wasn't Clint Eastwood in the original Time Traveler's Wife? Let's find out. Time Traveler's Wife. Okay, there's a 2009 movie, and that's all it's showing me. Yeah, that chick. That chick from The Notebook. Oh. And and uh, first, first uh, uh, Hulk. Hulk number one. He's the time traveler. 
Jesus? Jim Caviezel? Oh, was he the Hulk? I thought it was the other guy. Oh, uh, Eric Banner. Eric Banner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, they uh, look the same. He's in the uh, oh, that Jump Apatow movie where like it takes a hard left turn, and he's like the chick's husband. Come on, what's that movie called? Famous people? No, funny people. Funny. Oh, I don't remember that. All of them kind of blended together. That movie takes like a hard left, and you're like, uh. <laughs> I'm watching a totally different movie now. What the hell is going on nice. here? This is like a good time travel movie from... I it was on recently. There's the Time Traveler. It's always a good... Or the Time Machine. Time Machine. That's always a good one. They redid that? Um, or are you talking about the Jules Verne, like, the m- old school? No, not the old school one. The, the 90s one. Late 90s. I feel like Brendan Fraser needs to be in a time travel movie. He needs... They need to remake Time Machine and have him do it. Did you watch uh, season three of... Doom Patrol? Season 3 is... It came out, like, this month. Oh, whoa, what? Yeah. No, I did not know Yeah. That. It's already out? Yeah. No. Yeah, this whole year flew by. Holy shit, yeah. I thought it was coming out in November. That's like when you said, oh, Dune's out. I'm like, yeah, I've watched Lynch's Dune already twice. You're like, I didn't realize you meant the new one. Yeah. So I went on HBO last night, I'm like, oh, she's talking about the new one. Yeah. I was going to probably watch that tonight or tomorrow night. It's long. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I'll probably watch it tonight We're then. old grown up, so. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's going to be a two-parter. And I already stayed up all late last night. I'm, <laughs> yeah. already, I'm pooped. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing that podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're just talking <laughs> See, about time travel, man. I know, man. You fucking, you, you got me, sir. Um, Well, did you learn anything from this episode? Don't fucking bring up time travel, because I'll just start talking about it, and you'll start talking about it. Yeah. But don't take my word for it. Dead fights.